today's tutorial is going to be slightly different than what it has been before. Uh, before they were concentrated on very specific uh, moves and sequences. Today is going to be kind of a discussion on just how to work around uh, what people know as a Z plane. Uh, I was asked to do this by someone new, so I felt like it would be good to post about it and see if people can either add on to it or, you know, uh, just overall, like if, if, if it helps anyone or if people can help out with this, it would be really great and help a lot of people. So basically, uh, from and keep in mind, I'm not too familiar with working around the Z plane, to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to try and explain as best as I can, but I may not be 100% accurate, but anyway. Um, so when people refer to the Z plane, I tend to think of a horizontal axis, axis, excuse me. Um, normally, it's the way that the rifle works around your body on a horizontal axis, either around your body or out in front of you. So it could be things like, like working around, things like that, or even, um, even the hourglass would probably be something like that because it's going around the z-axis. So basically, um, if you're having trouble understanding how exactly that works, it has a lot to do with familiarity on uh, in yourself and familiarity with how you're supposed to manipulate the rifle and its length specifically, uh, especially for things like the hourglass when you're handling the rifle through the center of balance and um, you're still having to rotate it on a horizontal axis, it's gonna be trickier to do that um, with your hands closer in, for example. So obviously when I do an hourglass, my hands stay further away from me. Oops. So that the so that the handguard and the butt of the rifle don't have too much of an issue rotating while like the hitting my shoulder was an error on my end, but you kind of get the idea. It also works in terms of when I was passing it around myself. You want to do it in the sense that you can still rotate the rifle, but you have to extend the arm so that you can pass it and continue. If my arms aren't extended, I'm, I'm taking the rifle to the stomach, the chest, the legs, something like that. So that's something really important to keep in mind. Um, just extending the arms as far as you can so that the rifle can go in between you and them. It's similar to like when you throw a Hell's Whip, you have to rotate it in a way that it will stay on horizontal axis but will still rotate around the arm underneath it so that it won't clink with you. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could probably say about it. Also, uh, maybe another thing that you could probably mention is the fact that you don't have to think too much in terms of rotation, even though it seems like it's rotating a lot. A lot of it is just manipulation around you while you're passing it from one hand to the other. Unless you're doing maybe half of a rotation like you were seeing me do in between the under the leg exchanges or something like that. Uh, a lot of the time you can go like, I'm trying to think of something else that I could do. Something like that, I guess could be considered Z plane. But e even there, I wasn't rotating it, I, I literally threw it around and just passed it to myself afterwards. Something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not too familiar with Z-Plane stuff, so again, I mean my, my uh, experience is kind of limited, so again, it would be stuff like the hourglass, and again, key here is to keep it on a good flat axis while importantly keeping your arm further away from you so that the ends of the rifle do not hit you while they rotate. So keeping the arms extended and being familiar with your ability to do so as well as letting the rifle rotate in a way that it will not come back and hit you. So you have to be familiar with how comfortable you are holding the rifle away from you for an extended period of time as well as getting used to the length of the rifle itself rotating like that around you so that you don't get hit. Um, that's really all I have to say about that, to be honest. Uh, if there's any other questions or concerns or any kind of advice on it, uh, please leave it in comments or 
DM me and I can make a follow-up video on this. I might try and mix in some tricks and then some discussion uh, posts that'll kind of go overall like flow, like footwork, like technical drill, uh, how to, I might do one that might be like how to um, kind of spark creativity and originality in your sequences, uh, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you for watching.